Hello, hi, and welcome to the video from Excellent Cat. My name is Ajay Anand, and in this video, I will show you how to create a dashboard report like this using Power BI Desktop. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part, I will explain the sales data which was used to create this dashboard report and the features of this report. In the second part, I will show you how to create this dashboard report step by step, and it won't take more than 10 minutes. Here we have the sales data of a particular company that sells electronic gadgets in different cities of India. We have records from second week of January 2021 to last week of December 2021. Now a closer look on the details. Date of sale in the first column, product name in the second column, category in the third column, name of the sales representative in the fourth column, name of the city in the fifth column, number of units sold in sixth column, unit price in seventh column, and amount in eighth column, that is the last column. Note that there are 1560 records. Now the dashboard report created using this data. You can see five different charts in this report. A bar chart that displays the amount of sales happened in each month of the year 2021. Another bar chart which shows the amount of sales done by each sales representative. A line chart with the amount of sales happened in each city. A column chart which shows the product wise sales. And a pie chart with the category wise sales. This slicer here can be used to filter this data by a particular month or months of our choice. Suppose I want these charts to display only the sales happened in the month of July. I will click on July and all these 5 charts updated accordingly. We can have multiple selections by holding the control key. And these chart elements also will work as slicers. If I click on this bar corresponding to this sales rep called Tara, all other charts will update accordingly. A few more sales reps. All these charts are displaying only the details corresponding to the selected sales reps. Similarly, if I click on this slice corresponding to laptop, all these charts will update accordingly. Here is the Excel file which contains the sales data which we will be using to create the sales dashboard report. Note that there are 1560 records. We'll close this file. Open Power BI Desktop. Close this dialog. Before importing the data, I will name this file. In the File tab, Save, Dashboard Report, Save. In Power BI, we can import data from different sources. Get data. And these are some of the commonly used data sources. If your data source is not listed here, click on More. These are the different sources from which we can import data into Power BI. More than 100 data sources are listed here. In this case, we have the data in an Excel file. So I will close this dialog. To import data from the Excel file, click on Excel Workbook. Our Excel file is stored in the desktop. Sales data. Select the file. Open. We have a dialog called Navigator. And here is the Excel file from which we want to import data. Data is the name of the worksheet containing records. Mark this checkbox. And here is the preview of the data present in the file. Now if you want to modify this data or to make any kind of transformation, click on the transform data button here. Data will be loaded into the Power Query Editor of Power BI and there we can play with data using the tools available in Power Query. But here we are trying to create a simple dashboard and this data itself is in a for purpose. So I will directly load this data into Power BI using this load option. Load. Data is loaded into Power BI. Say add data to your report has become build visuals with your data. Now to see the imported data, 
click on this button called data on the left sidebar. Date, product, category, sales rep, city, number of units, price and amount. And 1560 records are loaded here. Now to create the visuals record for the dashboard report, click on report. When we import data into Power BI, Power BI will analyze the same and create a set of fields that can be used for slicing and dicing the data. Sometimes these fields may not be enough for a purpose and in that case we should go for DAX or Power Query. But in this case we are creating a simple dashboard and these fields are enough for a purpose. Now the visuals record for our dashboard report. First we will create a bar chart which will display the sales happened in each month of 2021. In the visualizations pane, click on clustered bar chart. See a rectangular box otherwise called visual is added to this report. We'll move this visual here. We'll resize it. Now we need to display the corresponding months and amounts in this visual. Expand this label called date hierarchy. Drag and drop this field called month into this visual. Repeat the same for amount. And these bars here represent the sales happened in each month of 2021. To display the sales figures on the chart, format your visual. Keep the data labels on. Now to increase the font size of these labels. Values. We'll make the font size tall. Make it bold. To resize the vertical and horizontal axis labels. Y axis. Bold x-axis will make the font size 12 apply bold formatting next one is a bar chart which will display the sales done by each sales rep to create the visual once again click on clustered bar chart select sales rep then amount the formatting which we have done to this chart can be copied into other charts. For that, select this chart, click on Format Painter, click on the chart where you want to copy the formatting. Now if you want to sort this data according to the alphabetical reverse alphabetic order of sales rep, click on these three dots, sort axis, sales rep. For alphabetic order, once again, three dots, sort axis, sort ascending. Third one is a column chart displaying product wise details. For that, click on clustered column chart. To display products and corresponding amounts, mark the checkbox for product, then amount. To copy the formatting, Format Painter, click on the column chart. To sort this data according to the product name, click on three dots, sort axis, product. Next one is a line chart which will display the sales happened in each city. To create the line chart, click on line chart, select the field called city, then amount. We'll copy the formatting. To sort this data, three dots, sort axis, city. Right now these figures are displayed in kilo. If you want the figures in millions, format your visual, data labels, values, under display units, select millions. We'll increase the decimal places to 2. Now the pie chart which will display category wise sales details. For that pie chart, category, 
amount. Next, we need a slicer with the name of months. To create the slicer, click on slicer. Select the field called month. To replace these checkboxes with buttons, format your visual, slicer settings. Under orientation, select horizontal. To increase the font size, values, we'll make it tall. Apply bold formatting. So our dashboard report is ready. And if I click on this button called February, all these five charts updated and these charts are now having only the details from the month of February. November, May. Now to add the details for June and July, holding the control key, click on the corresponding buttons. Click on one of the selected buttons to remove the filter. And if you want to change the appearance of this dashboard report, go to the view tab. Select an appropriate one from these predefined themes. What we did here is just a sample of what we can achieve with Power BI and advanced things are on the way. I really hope you will find this video useful. Thank you for watching and wish you a great day.